it up. We get that machine. I got a little design now I'm gonna throw on this thing. We good? Can I get it or what? Cool. All right, let me show you guys what I've been working on. Well, first of all, what we have here, Gaber's amp rack ready to go pretty much. I want to put my lid on it. I got to get my fan controllers in, a little voltmeter, a little output meter or two. Then we can put it in and mount it down and not look at it again out here. But that takes a little bit of design time. What we have here is a piece of 3 8 inch acrylic. I did 3 8 because I need enough meat on the bone for the temperature, the output, and the voltage meters. You'll see here in a second what that means. So, we'll just show you real quick. Got my little, my little tool pads right there. We'll flip it over. Got that right there. Alright. We'll do this, you guys ready? Here we go. Let's see what this thing's gonna look like. Straight over to the CNC.
on there for the night, go home, pick it back up tomorrow before we left off. super great with the paper still on it, but we'll light it up. That's going to pop so hard around those LED meters. Alright, tomorrow we laser etch and finish this whole front thing. Next morning, got this thing sitting right here. All my screws are all completely flush. They won't get in the way of the trim that's going on there. Now I just gotta take this thing off and laser etch it. I can feel the paper back and put it on there. I got other stuff to do in the shop. I'll come back here in a minute when it's all done. thing over here still printing still etching be done here in a little bit
Sure, I will, but you never know. Yeah. Bolt 
voltage, base, highs, temperature. This one's blinking because I cut the probe off of it. I'm gonna solder it back on a little shorter. It's about 20 feet long, so I only need about 18 inches probably. That'll go back on in a second when I wire this up. Ooh, shoot, that's good. I'm ready to peel this paper off and start wiring this thing. So gorgeous. Obviously these wires are about to go where they're supposed to go. I just want to see how it looks on here first. So, yeah, I'm going to put up these holes real quick. I'll just do like two of them. I got one more thing to make real quick. I'm Got this thing ready to go. Gonna start cleaning these wires up a little bit. One thing that's gonna happen is this thing's gonna be in the way when I open this up to set gains or do whatever. So I'm gonna have to make this thing removable. One way to do that is to put a Molex plug on it. Got these right here. Little nine spot should be enough to do it.
tedious little work. And I gotta do this one more time, but the female side, this is this half of the plug right here. We'll do uh, positive, negative, and remote up top. So maybe negative on the right. Right in there. We got the inputs for the OM1s, the output meters. Doesn't really matter where they're at, I can just pick a spot. Just uh, maybe, yeah, we'll put them right here. So time for some more soldering. All right, that was a lot of work. But I think it looks a lot better like this. We got a Molex plug here. We got a Molex plug here. This way this whole cover, this whole cover can come out, put it away, work on it, and then put it back in without having to cut anything or have it be in my way the entire time too. So we're gonna do something like this. So here's, here's what it is right here. In case you guys didn't see that earlier. Looks pretty good. Cool. Alright, I don't have this thing hooked up to the car yet. So this is not going to be the prettiest wire. But I need to bring some power into the amp rack. So we're going to do this. So we're going to ignore those. As far as looks, got a couple more zip ties to do before this thing is completed. Mind the fingerprints and whatever else is on here because we just ain't done yet. This is just to see. Once it's all in there, we'll wipe it down, obviously. Before I put that trim piece on, I'm gonna wanna do this real quick. 
See, there's a reason why I made that channel. That's it right there. So we're gonna fill this chamber full of heat, Brando, and make sure that the fans kick on. And this thing will be good to go. Got that corner, just right flush to the edge, flush to the sides. Wait, give me a little bit. It's not very permanent yet. We'll, we'll permanentize it later. Look at that. Oh shit, but you know what? Let's get this shit out of here, man. Help me bring it All right, we're gonna turn this thing on. We're gonna put some heat in the chamber, see if the fans kick on. And then I know I'll be ready to put this thing in the car. So let me see what we got here. Got the remote wire. Are you ready, guys? We'll start out with the, the meters first. Is it on? Yep. Yeah. We got DC voltage, 14.3 or so. 14. Oh, it's 14.6. Output, output, and temperature. This is supposed to go to that amp. This is supposed to go to that amp. I suppose I could have switched them around, but I didn't think about that at the time. Either way is fine, doesn't matter. So let's see if this temperature is gonna change. I have it set to about 80 for the fans to kick on. So let's see if they do. Well, I got the sensor right in here somewhere. Kind of so these things are going to start spinning and go from 0 to 100 depending on how hot it is. It's not just on and off, it's scaled from 0 to 100 as it gets hotter. Let's put some more heat in there and get them really moving. Here, look, here we go. Now we got some heat. Yeah, I can feel the heat coming out now. It's hard to get this heat gun in here without melting something. And look, we're at, are we at 120? Yeah. KK, these fans are spinning pretty hard. You know what, there's one thing I forgot to do, turn on the LEDs. We'll do that in a second. All right, now let's go ahead and take your heat off. Let this thing cool down. There we go, 110. That's kicking the heat out. So as soon as it gets down to 80, they should shut back off again. I say we turn the LEDs on while this thing's cooling. Bam! We got some handprints, no big deal. Got some fingerprints. Hey, go shut the lights off, KK. They're barely turning, we're at 80. So many handprints though, man. All right, so this thing's ready to go. All I really gotta do is put it in the vehicle, bolt it down, and uh, start running some door speaker wires. Maybe run some positive and negative from the battery up front all the way to the back. But a lot of the work is already done. We got the cables ready to go right here. Subwoofer, mids and highs, remote. Everything's cooling, everything's working great. Just some handprints, no big deal. When it's all done, that'll get handled. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the notification button. Don't miss out on this, it's gonna be kinda cool when it's done. See you on the next one.